Kirby, I know when you came to Center College, you hoped the team was going to be successful. But did you ever imagine things would go as well as what they have during your career for the team here? It has definitely been an extremely positive surprise um, coming from a team that wasn't bad, but it was, you know, that struggled a little bit in high school. It's been super pleasant to come in and have a team that's driven and wants to win and just pushes themselves in so many different aspects of their life. I mean, your freshman year, you were the only goalkeeper, I believe, on the team, and yet center got to the NCAA tournament and got to the Sweet 16, which was pretty impressive. Yes, it was. And I think to this point, am, am I right about this? Have you started every game you've been at center? I think so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I do, I think so. <laughs> yeah. That's a pretty amazing streak. Yeah, I like it. I've been pretty pretty privileged, so I'm appreciative. Well, what is there about you you think that Coach Anthony likes in go? Why does she like you back there? I am loud. <laughs> I, I tell my team um, where they need to be, where they need to go, and that's really the biggest job of a goalie, especially when you have such strong defense. Um, I don't really get that much action in some games, so just kind of directing them is really important. And uh, yeah. Well, I asked her if you were kind of, I've heard maybe you were a little bossy back there, <laughs> but Janelle says she preferred to think of it like as a train conductor, kind of moving yeah. people around instead of a <laughs> dictator, but mm -hmm. I thought, would you go with the word bossy better than conductor? What do you <laughs> I think sometimes it's a little bit of both. You got to, you know, sometimes you just have to say, you need to get over there, but. Yeah. And you talk about you don't always get a lot of action, yet when you do, I mean, I think you're mm -hmm. second in the conference and goals of NC. You must have a pretty good job of stopping them when you do get <laughs> I a try, chance. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've also heard that on the, on the team that you're probably the most nurturing person on the team, so we don't, like everybody, think you're just a wild maniac back there screaming. There. <laughs> but if there's somebody that needs something done, you're the person that will do it for them. Yeah. I'm definitely, I'm like, they call me like the team mom, so <laughs> I look out for everybody. <laughs> is it just your normal personality or? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I can't, I try to find it sometimes and I just can't. That's just, that's just who I am. <laughs> and you don't only look out for the team, but now you're a resident hall supervisor? Mm-hmm. And yeah. so, so you look after a whole dorm? I look over um, about seven different dorms. So. Seven different dorms? Yeah. I have, um, I'm an RD, and so there's RAs that are underneath me. And they have their own dorm, and so I'm like their point person. So if somebody messes up and gets in trouble <laughs> in the dorm, but it comes they go to the principal's me. office, they have to come see you. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. <laughs> so can you be tough on them then? Or are you too easy going? And <laughs> I'm supposed to be their ally, so you're, yeah, you're their ally. So you tell <laughs> we have them, a boss to be tough on them. <laughs> okay. So you tell them why they can't do that and why mm -hmm. I can. Yeah. yeah, they come to me for questions and advice. So, so, so how did you ever get into that role? Um, it was just kind of, um, my mom was actually an RA in, at college and I saw the position and I thought that might be kind of cool. It's, I'd like to get to know some other people in different classes, different years. And, um, my first year I was on a, uh, first year hall. Um, and I loved every minute of it. And like I had a lot of the girls on my team actually were on that first year hall when they were a freshman and I was a sophomore. So yeah. that was really fun. So you get a bigger room or anything? You do. So there, <laughs> yeah, now we're getting down to yeah. what So that's just one nice little perk. Huh? It is a perk, yes. Okay. Now, now how do you find time to do that? play field hockey then in the spring you're back out there playing lacrosse or going to be back out there playing yeah, this year? I am. Um, you know, I have a great team and great staff that support me in everything I do and um, the expectations they ask of me are reasonable and I just have to manage my time well and hope that nobody calls me at three in the morning on the weekends <laughs> before a game. But <laughs> now, now, yeah. do you, now, do you use your head too much in lacrosse? I mean, I've heard you've had a few concussions <laughs> out there. I mean, you're not supposed yeah. to be hit, but what do you do to cause that? <laughs> they really have not been from lacrosse. They've been okay. from um, outside accidents. One time I fell down some stairs. My boot got caught and I fell down the stairs. I was actually on my way to an RA meeting, so... <laughs> I'm just kind of a klutz when I'm not on the field. So, so a two-sport athlete, yet you fall down the street. Exactly. Uh, that, that doesn't quite go together. Right? It doesn't, no. It doesn't. Oh, well, one other thing I've heard about you is that community projects and, and involvement in community service, that you're really big on that. Kind of tell me a little bit about why that is and how you got involved in things and what you like doing. Well, I mean, high school, um, it's just something that's been drilled into me for a long time. and. 
Um, like you kind of said, I'm a very nurturing person and I just want to help as many people as possible. Um, and I want people to know about the different things going on. So like I'm the president of the Hispanic Society and just kind of educating people about the, that culture and what they can do to help and some of the biases. It's just, you know, the more educated you are, the more you get out there, the more other people know about it. And it makes everything better. <laughs> so, so, I mean, I know the season hit one little spot that wasn't good, too good, but yeah. now things have kind of... <laughs> that one weekend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but now you've kind of got back on a roll, so you feel good about where this team is I and do. where you're headed? I do. I'm so excited. I mean, everybody keeps saying it, but this team is something special. I think we have a charisma and a, an attitude that's just unmatchable than any of, any of my four years that I've been here, so... And, and you've been on good teams, so you think this one could be the yes. best of the bunch? I think so. I really do. We have a good mix of you know seniors and sophomores and juniors and freshmen. It's very evenly distributed, and um, everyone's got a good attitude, and that really makes a huge difference. So. Well, just stay away from staircases. I know. The over. Okay, <laughs> I'm on the Janelle. first floor, oh, so. Okay. Well, well, <laughs> yeah. good deal. Well, well, good luck to you. Thank you.